Welcome back everybody, Houston Math Prep here. When there is borrowing or loaning of money going on, oftentimes there is interest involved, and if you are the one borrowing the money, then that means you are likely paying the interest to the other party. If you're the one loaning money to somebody else, then they are paying you interest. When interest is calculated and paid all at the end of what we call the term of the loan, or how long the loan is for, then that is called simple interest. The amount of simple interest that you pay or receive on that loan at the end depends on a few things. It depends on the original amount, which we call the principal. So the original amount you loaned to somebody or they loaned to you is called the principal. It depends on the interest rate. Generally, the rate is given to you as a percentage, although when we calculate it in formulas, we will usually use a decimal when entering the rate into our formula. And lastly, simple interest also depends on the amount of time or the term of the loan, how long the principal is loaned before the payback date. So if interest depends on these three things, we can say that the interest equals P times R times T, the principal times the rate times the time. So I is our interest, P is our principal, R in the formula is our rate per period, and usually we'll convert that to a decimal unless we conveniently happen to be working with a calculator that has a percent button, and we're handy with that. And t is the time period. Usually that's given in years unless it's specified otherwise in the statement of the loan or in the problem that we're working on. Let's look at an example here. So I have my interest formula here. Simple interest is equal p times r times t. Let's say that you borrow $1,200 and you agree to pay simple interest at a daily rate of 1%. So you're being charged 1% interest per day. So we want to figure out how much interest will be owed if you plan to repay in one week. So this part right here should tell us that one week, if we're paying interest per day, then our t is going to be seven days. So our t will be seven. So our interest that we're going to pay is going to equal our principal, which was the starting amount for the loan, which was $1,200, times our rate. Our rate is 0.01 as a decimal, 1%. Remember, for percent to decimal, we can move the decimal place two to the left, so we get 0 0.01, and then times the time would be times seven. So we get 1200 times 0 0.01 times seven. And if we multiply all that out, we get 84. So we actually get $84 in interest if we borrow that $1,200 for one week according to these terms. So that's our interest. And then the other question says, what is the total amount repaid? Well, obviously we have to pay back the original amount, which is the $1,200 that we borrowed, plus we'll also owe them the interest, right? So we will actually be paying back a total of $1,284 for this loan. If we want to look at this total amount being repaid, then that's our final amount. Sometimes it's referred to as an accumulated value, but it's usually represented by A in formulas. So if I'm paying back an end amount, that needs to include the starting amount plus the interest, right? So this was in our last example, our 1284 was our original $1,200 plus the $84 in interest there. As you look at other sources, you may see a different version of this formula. So imagine we take our formula I equals PRT, and we take the information PRT for I, and we put it in in this equation. Well, then that would give you the accumulated value is equal P plus PRT instead of P plus I. And then what some sources will do is they'll factor out the common term P, and they'll give you this formula A equals P times 1 plus RT. But this is still the same expression as principal plus interest. It's just given to you in a different form. There are occasions where it may be quicker and more useful to use this. Let's look at one of those. So here we have a loan of $2,000. We're actually loaning somebody else at an annual rate of 5%, so 5% per year. They're repaying in three years, so the term of our loan is three. Now, it's not asking for both the interest and the ending balance that they pay me back. It's only asking for how much is the total repaid. In other words, we just need to know A. We don't also need to know I separately. So I may just go ahead and opt to use this A equals P times 1 plus RT instead of first finding interest and then going back and adding it. We might be able to do it all in one shot. So my principal that I've loaned is 2000 times 1 plus the rate as a decimal, 5%, if we move that over two places, is going to be 0 0.05, times t, and t in years is going to be 3. 
So if we enter this into the calculator and make sure we include our parentheses, then we will get that the accumulated value for this loan is actually going to be 2300 So in three years, they would pay us back 2300 If we had done this the other way, we would have found first the interest just by doing P times R times T. We would have gotten $300 interest, I think you can see here, and then we would have gone back and separately added it to the 2000 the original amount, to get our end answer. Let's look at one. Now here I need to know both. I want to know the interest and the total paid back. So let's just go back to our P plus I. Let's go ahead and figure out I first. So we loan $4,250 at an annual rate of 3.7% and they repay in 63 months. So a couple of things. Notice that the annual rate is 3.7%, but the term is given to us in months. So what we need to figure out is how many years, right, annual rate is 63 months. So 63 months, if you take this 63 and divide by 12, because there are 12 months in a year, then that is going to give you that it's 5.25, five and a quarter years, right? So that will be the actual T that we use in the formula. So our interest is going to equal the 4,250 times my annual rate, which is 3.7%. If I move that over two places, notice that I will have to add a zero to get a rate as a decimal, so that will be times 0 0.037. That's our rate as a decimal. And then my time is five and a quarter years, so times 5.25. Now, if we enter that into a calculator, we will actually get 825.5625. And if we're dealing in American dollars, remember we have cents are the smallest thing that we really pay if we're doing any sort of transaction. So what we'll need to do is we'll round to two places. So we'll need to round to this place, looking after this place is a two. So that means since it's below five, we'll round down. And so we would say that the interest here is going to be $825.56. So that's our interest. And now what is the total paid back? Well, $825.56 plus the original loan, right? So in other words, for this one, A equals the principal plus the interest. So our accumulated value at the end of the loan is going to be the 4250 plus that 825.56. And if we add those together, then we will get 5,075 and 56 cents. Okay, hopefully this helps you with your simple interest problems, finding interest, finding accumulated value. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the next video.